Hello again everyone, it is your Black Knight, and what you're looking at here is my first ever Rockstar Creator creation. And uh, let me let me give you a little bit of background on this, because this, there's a story to this, but we've got time, so we, we, can, we can talk about this. Many, 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 many moons ago... <coughs> Excuse me, I have to clear my throat before we embark upon this. A YouTube creator and Twitch streamer named Ruffy1322, and that name should be familiar to you if you've watched any of my GTA Racing videos, was doing a stream and they came up with the idea for kind of a random race back and forth across the map without a lot of direction in between the points. It was just going to be something that was going to be a challenge. It would test your ability to know the map and find your way around. Hey, it was going to be a one-off. They were just going to do it that day. He just threw some... He named it G-Fred because those letters were close to each other on the keyboard. And a phenomenon was born. And now he does, I believe, a G-Fred every week. There's different variations on it, like Rocket Fred, where they use rocket cars. All kinds of different things like that. Uh, they have, there's a Derf G where you do it backwards. As a matter of fact, I was, when I got the idea for this track, I was watching the Derf G G Fred, which was one race where you do the G Fred backwards and then forwards again in the same race. And it took about 50 minutes. I think it was a 15 minute video. It was long. This is, this is an endurance kind of thing. And I'm watching, uh, Brophy just beat the ever-living crap out of these cars. And they're getting completely destroyed along the way, which is a normal part of G-Fred, but it seemed particularly uh, in effect that day. He wasn't having the best of luck. I thought, you know, the Viserys, which is the car you're looking at right here, has an interesting glitch in that the more damaged it gets, the faster it goes. There's a suspension glitch with it. <clears throat> and you can end up stancing the thing so that it ends up... I mean, it still goes ridiculously fast even without that. I mean, this will be close to 150 miles an hour. It has terrible traction as far as, you know, the average cars go. I mean, if you're actually trying to race it, there are much better cars in the sports classic class. But then I thought, you know, that combination of, of high speed plus really mediocre traction plus going faster the more damage you get, or at least when you get past a certain damage point, would make it a very interesting subject for a G-Fred. And so I've created the Ceres Fred, which uh, varies a little bit from a, G, a normal G-Fred, par partially because I am not perhaps very good at the whole creator thing. No, no, I've, I've run into some difficulties with that. The, um, the first thing is, even though I've set this up as a GTA race, which is kind of key to the G-Fred, because you have to run, and then it's like a triathlon. First you swim, then you run, then you steal a car. And what car you steal kind of depends on how well your race goes. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of luck involved. But for whatever reason, this uh, the, test, uh, the tester here, the creator tester, will not let me get out of this car. And so I had to kind of forego the swimming sections for mine, which is rather kind of unfortunate. So what I did was I started the grid at the highway, which is normally where you steal your car and you're getting, you're starting with the Viseras anyway, so I guess we can shorten it up that much. And then at the end, I had to, to put a kind of a bridge of some nature to what they call Bruffy Island, where the normal ending is. And, uh... At least it's orange. We can, we can say that. And I tried to make it a little challenging. If you, if you stick through the video, you'll get to see what kind of a bridge I used. And the bridge is really mostly for me to be able to finish the game because you can't publish unless you finish it. Unless you can finish the race and pass a test run, you cannot... Unless you can pass the test run, you cannot publish the race. What you are looking at is my test run. I can't get out of the car. I have to do the entire thing in the Viserys. And we stop Viserys. Whoa, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. This may not end well. Nope. Oh, oh. Okay. Well, we, we survived. We might have landed just enough to stance it. That wouldn't be a bad thing. Now, the other points are as well as I can recollect right where they are for a normal user. Now, I think I can... I, I think I know most of the lines to get around. That wasn't a good... No, we didn't do that. Um... The big problem is I don't really know the, what they call the OG route. 
up the oh, that's into a park. I don't know the OG route up the Mount Chiliad, which part of this involves driving up Mount Chiliad, which is a classic challenge on streams and all kinds of stuff. Car meets at the top of Mount Chiliad. In a Viserys, it's... Uh, the Viserys is not a four-wheel drive car. And despite those really big rear wheels here, people driving into me, it's not a handler. No, no, it's... It's not even a Chelsea handler. It's, it's, it's all over the place. I'll let, yeah, there's. I have comments, but I'm not gonna say them. that's a. We're we're just going to just. Whoa! Why do people just turn in front of me? It happens all the time in this game. This is not. If you look at the timer, I think I'm gonna pull off like an 18 minute run here. That's not likely. Um, first of all, again, I'm I'm kind of only doing this from the memory of watching so many different uh, Bruffy 1322 YouTube videos. That's um. Because it's entirely entertaining, honestly. He's really brilliant. And this is a race that, really, if you're watching, it has a lot of sections which could be, some would say, boring. But he puts attention to it and, and, a, and a comedy to it. And a self-deprecating comedy about, you know, whether he's doing well or whether he's choking, as they would say. And things are not going as well as he'd hope. Let's see, I should have, oh, should have, didn't make it over there. Okay. Talking. That's the other thing. Talking and racing is one of those tricksy things. Let's see, where can we get over? Especially when you don't really, it's not like there's a uh, checkpoint every, every, you know, ten car lengths here. We're just, you, know, you, you swerved a couple times and kept going right at me, so uh, we're okay with that. Believe it or not, this is pretty close to, uh, one of the uh, standard G Fred lines. Yeah, this, this is how you do it. This would be normally the place where you could perhaps try to upgrade your car if you needed to. As there's sometimes sports cars here. I am trapped in the Viserys, which is, technically speaking, as far as top speed goes, the fastest car in the game that doesn't have a rocket on it. And it's almost, uh, actually, if you get the the, uh, the rear end damage glitch going, it's fastest car in the game, period. It'll outrun a rocket car in a straight line. Don't try to turn. But I mean, you know. And it's that aspect of it, that high speed, out of control aspect of it that inspired me to do this, to make a Viserys Fred. Where, you know, you might actually, because the, the real game should be a GTA, you could dump the Viserys. I mean, you don't have to stick with the Viserys. You could use that to get yourself on uh, one of the three uh, standard hoped for cars in a G Fred, the 9F. The Infernus or the Feltzer. Those are the ones they usually like to get in that game. Right? But those are the things that will, the good cars that will spawn, as opposed to getting one of the fastest, or the fastest car in the game for all intents and purposes, right at the highway. Thinking of doing another one, I might actually do one where you have the option, same setup, uh, but you have the option of picking one of those three cars and then seeing which ones actually do the best. That might be the next project. Hey! Now, mounting the train tracks is usually a very tricky thing, and I'm very happy how that worked out. Now, the real trick here is going to be getting up Chiliad, because I don't know the proper, the, the low traction way of getting up Chiliad. There is a path to, a, kind of a walking path, you know, there is a way of getting on a walking path and driving up that, you know, getting on a trail, as it were, and that's what I'm going to try to do. The, the OG uh, way is the way to go, but I don't know what exactly, I don't remember that. Because almost uh, every time you watch Bruffy do it, do it, do it, do it, he does uh, what they call the hot lap route. The hot lap route. Why can't I talk? Well, you know it is. It's, we're live here, basically. I'm trying to do this as we do the actual test. No do-over. So I'm just going to have to trip over my, uh, my words or get my mix all talked up. And go from there. Normally, I think it's right after, is it after this time? I don't think know that there's any trains in your testing. Normally, it's right here. You turn right there and you drive up uh, Chile and that one. But I, I've I've actually done this on another test, which didn't work out because of other reasons. And uh, I did get up Chiliad, but it was painful. And we need a better way up. We need a, a way up where it's. Let's see. Is this no. That's just a hole. That's not the way up Chiliad. No. Um, now we're in a hole. Let's get out of the hole. 
what are we going to do here? We have to find... This is Chiliad on our right, but there should be a less aggressive way up, maybe here. Not, uh, rocks. rocks, papers, so don't fall in that hole. Okay, this is kind of like a path. And of course the phone. Okay, we'll, we'll pause this recording for a moment. Okay, that was just mom. We're gonna just see if we could get up. I've lost some momentum here just hovering it. Well, let's see if we can get, if this is a path up Chiliad somehow. And no, I don't know what I'm doing. And this car is hurt. Like, it's not like a little hill. No, we didn't, we're not there yet. No, this isn't the, that ain't gonna work. We need to cut across Chiliad till we find a trail. See, this thing doesn't, doesn't even wanna steer. By the way, that's part of the challenge of the G-Fred, is try and get whatever car you've got up the hill. And there have been more than one G-Freds where someone tried to take a two-wheel drive car up, especially the hot lap route. Hot lap Wow, this is spinning. Okay, let's continue around. I know for a fact there is a... Uh, maybe we'll find the OG route here somewhere. This, this is turning into a wall. And I can't switch to map and look for a better way. I'm gonna have to just try the, the uh, hot lap rope again. Hot lap, hot lap root, hot lap root. Okay. Can we take it from here? No, that was is that just where I was? The grass is making it worse. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Now, the true G-Fretters, the guys who do this all the time, are going to be laughing if they ever see this video. Because they, they'll know 17 different ways that uh, are better than this. That, that looks fairly vertical. Perfectly, it looks worse than the hot lamp. I wonder if you have to go up the other side of Chilliad or something like that. There's a train. I think that's a train. Is the train coming? It could be. Can we go up and around and over this way? Maybe this will help us. Go over the train. And there's, there's, all right, now there's some hope here. I'm having hope. This might work. Oh dear. Can you see why I thought the Viserys would be a good, come on, flip? And if you think doing a K-turn on this surface is easy, no, 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 it's... Come on. Let's go. Which way? Which way is up? Up Simba. Let's just go up this thing here. Uh, I don't know why. Isn't Simba the thing from the Lion King? Yet? Doesn't make any sense. Okay, don't go up the dead end. If I'm ever in a G-Fed... G-Fed... If I'm ever in a G-Fred, I need to just talk slower. This might be the way I'll take it, because... Probably not winning, but I'd like to finish. Especially if I'm in a Viserys. So if I'm in a 9F, well then, you know, that's a different deal. I think this race would be interesting just because you could dump this car for a 9F and see which one's faster, you know? It's, is having the traction of Chiliad a big enough help to make up for the fact that this car will be doing at least 30 miles an hour faster than it on the streets? The long, long straights, and there's a lot of a lot of straight driving in this game. In this particular, oh, I missed it. Oh, that's not the that's not the way to go. Oh no, 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 no! Don't do this to me. Come on, come on, baby. You can see the checkpoint. Come on, baby. Here we go. Here we go. 
this this could work this could get us there I don't know if it's the right way but it's I think there's possibilities let's go here we go up, 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 up. it looks so far away This was a mistake. I should have stayed on the stayed on the road. Where's the road? Okay. Not much of a road, I know, but oh gee, yeah, me. This is a twitchy, slippery car. There's lots of good things about slippery, but not when you're climbing up a hill. Oh dear. Come on, the Sarasubtiliad, here we go. Stop the Sarasubtiliad, I know. Mean. We're almost, we're almost there. You have to kind of jump up over the side. Oh, we got it. I probably put that a little too close to that road, but you know what, we're, we're gonna run with that. Now. Getting back down. That's a whole other deal here. Um, and no way. Oh dear, I don't think this was the way. Nope, nope, that wasn't it. Oh, ah, ooh, ew, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, Okay, we're, we're still going downward. We're not stuck yet. Whee! Okay, the car the car's holding up well. I think I think it's holding up well. All things considered, I mean, you know. By the way, if, if you like this sort of thing, you really should go to, to Bruffy's channel. And I forget whether he normally puts these on his regular channel or his Bruffy's Random Bits channel. But there's, there's one up uh, pretty much every week. All kinds of stuff like this. Oh, it really... Will we survive? If I respawn, I have to go all the way back to the top of the mountain. But at least I got to the top of the mountain. Alright, let's just... Uh, now... I don't know exactly where I am. Not even a little bit. And I re can't really go to... Uh, can't go to the map in test mode. You have to kind of just work your way there. Let's try to get back to some kind of main road. This is not, by the way, not the, the route. Normally, you have to try to get back to the train tracks, and I'm nowhere near the train tracks, I don't think. But I think I've seen at least one race where somebody ended up going this way, so we'll see. By the way, if I wreck this now, I'm back at the top of the mountain. So... Not put it in the. I put it in the water once before when I was doing the test the first time. Not a happy moment. Uh, around and around and around and please don't crash. I just don't want to crash. Just don't want to crash. I must admit, this was probably a little bit, I don't know, ambitious for the first ever uh, creation that I put together. Just partaking in a defred is kind of an ambitious thing. Wait a minute. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I think this is good. Hold oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Don't you even think about getting stuck on a rock.
No, 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 no. You gotta, you gotta be kidding me. We can get this off. Yes! Railroad tracks. Now, the railroad tracks you see are key. This is actually, I think, pretty close to where they come off the railroad tracks. For an actual... Yes! Yes, this is the exit point. So I didn't even need to do that. I could have just gone up the road. <laughs> so we go this way. And our goal is to get up to the observatory. Which pretty much means at some point I'm just going to make a random left turn. Like something like this. That's not the proper way of doing that, but we're going to give it a shot. I'm sure I could actually choose the actual roads to get to the uh, the observatory, but that wouldn't be in the spirit of a G-Track. It just wouldn't be. You know, it's not, it's not the right thing. All right, well, look, there's, there's an actual road. Oh, I, could have, I could have done that. Come on, let's just keep working our way up towards the observatory. And again, I think I should stress, gang, I've, I've never done a G frame before. I've watched them. I did try once, and it was an interesting thing. It was, I tried to do one just at home, loaded up G-Fred. And I didn't know why I was having trouble, because whenever I drove my bicycle into the water, I would reset. And I thought, that never happens on, uh, on G-Fred. What the heck is going on here? And it turned out that there was a change in the game that now they have to deal with in the new G-Freds. And I was just experiencing it on my own. So, I, But at that point, I thought, well, obviously I'm doing something wrong. But gave up on it for that time being. We're getting there. All right, yes. Now we're now we're cooking with gas. Now we are cooking with gas. And by the way, I, I'm already past the point where most people finish real G fridge. It's, it's a G fridge. Not a G fridge, a G fred. This is the observatory. Wee! Come on, turn, turn car. Point. Not going to take the parachute line. In case you're curious, because I can't get out of the car. I can even try and show you that here. See? Yep, there's no getting out of the car. It won't let me. Now, for those of you who don't know, the normal... This, that, that's not the right way, is it? I don't think so. Is that the right... Which way are we going? Probably, if I get myself aimed right, we're headed toward the finish, so kind of over the mountain kind of down there. I don't think up. Oh, you go this way? That's more the parachute line. Not the parachute line, but it's more along the line up. They take so many bizarre shortcuts in that race, just following the roads doesn't even make sense at all. Okay, this is familiar. Now, the normal way you finish this race is that you can either drive your car into the ocean, and then swell, you have to stop outside the ocean now and, uh, and swim to an island. Or, you can jump off the mountain, you can drive your car off the top of the mountain, and deploy a parachute. Jump out of your car, deploy a parachute without hitting the ground, and parachute there. That's the fast route. There's supposed to be a couple other things people are developing to go faster even than that, but I don't know what they are. Keep going. Or there's the, the route you can take when you take it out of your car, which is the one I ended up kind of making for myself. And what I've done... There's, there's the highway. Can we get down to that without going in the water? Or all the way back. Is there water? No, we might be able to do this. Whee! Let's see. There we go. We have such issues in this game. And 
What I ended up doing, and this is like so not. Oh, I don't know. I we're closer than we are. Where is the? Oh, wait a minute. We might be able to. This this might work for us. Is that the? Uh, yeah. Oh, here we are. Yes. All right. This is part of it. This is normally something that way to go. This is the path to the. Uh, this is where they normally go when you go. We could go through Fort Zenku, but I think you have to go around it more than that. In theory, I could go through Fort Zenku and race, but I do have a hangar, but this is the way I always see Bruffy do it. Go around Fort Zenku. Trying to do this all from memory. Oh yeah, watch the big ditch. And the other big ditches in the and he'll fly up, up that hill, and then go up towards the parachute line. Yeah, 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 oi. He won't do that. Me, I'm just trying to cut across everything and get to that coastal highway. We're getting there. Alright, that at least was nicely done. So what I had to do, because normally the, the whole purpose of the island is to force you to either swim or parachute, do something without a vehicle to get to the finish line, and I really couldn't do that. That wasn't an option. So I did something that I thought would be at least stylish. Let's see, can we see it from here? There's the finish line. You can't quite see what I've done yet. Keep on this side. We're gonna to need to be on this side. Let's see, can we see it? Yeah. Yeah! I put a tube. A tube from over there. You have to kind of drive on top of it, not in it. And oh by the way, if you drive uh, too fast off the end of it, yeah, that uh, you go in the water and then you start you go all the way back to the observatory. Trying to remember exactly the best way to get in there. And although this will be in the game, that is not going to be the fast way. That's not, it's not the fast way, it's not even the guaranteed way. It's just a way. So can we get there from here? Is that the best? Come on, yeah, we go over this way. I didn't make it easy. I have to go all the way down here, crash into a rock. Come on, come on. And again, this is just so that I can pass the test and publish. So, I mean, obviously, guys, um, at least made it orange. Should have done an alternating orange and purple. But, I mean, orange is really the, the color that Bruffy's known for. And Bruffy, I hope you like it. I hope you appreciate the effort and time that went into it. You have completed your test race. Return to the creator. Okay. Can we now publish? Yes! It is now available on the Rockstar Games Social Club website. So, we will put a link to that um, in, the, uh, in the description, of course. And uh, hopefully someday, I'll actually get to see the Bruffy 1322 ra racing of Viserys up Mount Chiliad. I think that would be a thing to see. And on that note, folks, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.